Good morning, Indira. How are you? Doing well. How are you, Grace? Good, good. I'm looking forward to our meeting and our, our wine night someday. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Uh, good morning, Julio. Good morning. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, Billy. Good to see you. Buenos dias. Good to see you too. All right. Reminder, everyone, to uh, write your information on the chat box as we're uh, waiting for everyone to log on this morning. Good to see everyone. John, long time no see. Morning, John. Good morning. The Ellie here. Good to see you here, Ellie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ephraim. Looking forward to next Friday. Reminder, everybody, please write your information on the chat box as we're waiting for everyone to log in. We will start shortly. I do see a lot of new faces. I'm looking forward to meeting you this morning and chatting with you this morning. Tell us what your company is, what your name is, where you're located on the chat box, and we will start few minutes here. And given us your information in the chat box, um, please do that. And if you haven't grabbed your cafecito, please do that. We're going to be spending, uh, drinking our coffee together this morning, the best we can with this virtual world, right? <laughs> Good morning, Vivian. Good morning. Good morning, Buenos everybody. días. Me encanta la música. Aquí bailando. Uh huh. Empezando la mañana bailando, no? <laughs> Buenos días, Jimmy. I see Jimmy and Mario Delgado, Keisha, Amy. Good to see you here, Janelli. Erlan, good to see you. Hello, hello. Buenos días. All right, we're going to get started this morning. Um, I hope everybody has their cafecito ready this morning. Um, and I think we're gearing up for a long weekend. Good Friday tomorrow. So I hope you get some um, rest and relaxation this, this, uh, this weekend with your loved ones. But we want to start uh, this morning by letting you know that we have a special guest and we'll introduce her in a minute. We're going to be talking about lending circles. Um, it's a topic that is interesting to me because I, I know that growing up, maybe some of us heard tandas and you know, from they're called different things, but it's really interesting what we're doing here um, in Charlotte with, with that. But before we, um, we, we move on to that, I wanted to give you an, um, what the agenda is gonna look like. We're going to break out into rooms, just like Debbie always whisks us away. So you'll get an opportunity to uh, mingle and network with some, some people here on this call. Um, I think that's a great opportunity to pass your business card along, right? This is the new way that we're passing our business card along and staying connected and connecting on LinkedIn and supporting each other um, through our social media. So um, I hope we all have fun doing that. We're going to go around the room first and introduce each other in just a few minutes. But uh, before we do that, I do want to give you an update on what the, the Latin American Chamber of Commerce is brewing. We're in the middle of strategic planning for not only this year, but for the next three to five years. And I'll tell you, it's been really, really amazing to, to see all the seeds that have been planted here at the chamber. And I feel like I'm coming in and I'm kind of pruning uh, you know, that garden. I'm getting rid of all the, the things that no longer serve us, but also tending to those seeds that have been planted through the years. The chamber has been in existence for 20 years. So 
there's a lot of great seeds that have been planted and making sure that we're watering and intending to the right ones. That's been my job. And I've been really grateful that I get to do that. Um, so one of the things that we are launching in June is I've been talking a lot about our e-commerce platform. And we're really super excited about that because it's really not about the sales part of it for our members. It's really about the marketing part. It's really about the exposure and the branding and the awareness, right? So that more people, we have more eyes um, are set on our products and our services and more people get to see us and how we are. Uh, we have created this, this community of people that support each other. So we're super excited about that. That's something that's a project that is a three year long project. And our goal is that by the fourth year, this will be a self-sustaining platform for our members um, and hopefully replicated uh, with other chambers. So that's something that I'm super, super excited about. We also have um, our economic outlook event coming up on April 22nd. And I'm pleased, everybody, I'm asking you to mark your calendars for the, uh, this date um, for a couple of reasons. One, our keynote speaker will be Dr. Hayes Bautista. He is a professor at UCLA, my hometown, California. And um, he has conducted a GDP study of, of specifically to Latinos for the last four years. And in this GDP study, he has, um, there's a lot of great statistics about what Latinos contribute to the American economy. I'll give you an example. From 2012 to 2016, 86% of net new businesses were launched by Latinos. Who knows that? Who talks about that? Who puts that in light? Not many people, but Dr. Bautista does. And what does that do? It creates 300,000 jobs to the American economy. So these are things that we want to put in the light. We want to showcase because you know we are changing the narrative. That's what I've always said. And that's something that is in alignment with what Dr. Bautista preaches. Um, and another thing is that if we were our own economy, the you know Latinos were our own economy, we would be eighth in the world. So picture that out of all economies in the world, our GDP is high enough to be number eight in the world. So these are things that um, he will showcase. From what I hear, I've never been to one of his events, but it, it's going to be very interactive and he's going to engage us and he's going to put us in breakout rooms. So that will be a good opportunity for us to get to know each other a little bit better as well. So I encourage you to please, please, please be on this event because um, I, I, I just think that this is how we grow, um, le learning from, from, um, from each other. So, and if you have anybody who you think would have interest in, in this event, please invite as many people as you can. Um, I am going on the radio today to promote it on, in Spanish radio because we will have a, um, a um, interpreter. So as you may notice, Zoom has an interpreter button. So we will have an interpreter for anybody who wants to be on this call and perhaps um, wants to listen to it in Spanish. So we want a large community there. We want um, your participation. It would mean a lot to us. So mark your calendars. And Debbie will put that on the chat box as well, the link so that you can, that you can register for, for this event. So having said that, I wanna transition over to giving a shout out to our new LACC members for this quarter. Now, this is only this quarter. Um, if I missed you from last quarter, we'll circle around uh, last next quarter um, when you do renew. But I'm really, really excited that many of you have reached out to us and said, I wanna be part of this movement. We're really creating a movement here in Charlotte. It's a movement of, of like-minded people really um, brewing up really great things. Um, it's about exposure, guys. That's what I always say. It's about who knows who you are, what you do, what your contributions are. And we are committed to doing that for all of our members. So I think that in numbers, we're more powerful. So thank you for to all of our new members for this quarter that have joined the chamber that have said, we wanna be a part of this. We wanna support you. We wanna build together. So thank you so, so much. You can see all of their names here. And I am going to hand it off to Giovanni Flores. Some of you have met him, others of you have not met him yet, but he's our new membership services manager. And he has been um, really great in connecting with our members, um, renewing members, new members. He's been really great on being on the phone with them, emailing them, just getting to know them and at really asking them, you know, what, what can we do better? What can, how can we serve you better? How can we become a team? So we're really, really fortunate to have him. 
and he is going to conduct the introductions this morning. So Giovanni, take it away. Giovanni, are you there? I think- Sorry, I couldn't unmute myself for a second. There you are. Uh, good morning, uh, everyone. <clears throat> So like Reese said, my name is Giovanni. Uh, anything you guys need, uh, you know, I'm here for you. Uh, please feel free to reach out. Uh, my information will be in the chat box. I hope everyone does share their information in the chat box as well. Uh, so for introductions, if we could uh, keep the introductions to under a minute, uh, just, you know, your name, uh, what you do, and how to get in contact with you. So we'll start off with Miss Amy. Amy. Good morning. Buenos dias, everyone. Sorry, you cannot see me, but I'm not coffee ready. But my name is Aime Serrut, and actually, I'm a realtor and also a real estate investor. So I, um, in the real estate investor part, I help people nowadays that a lot of crazy things have happened. They might lose their home or whatever, so we can help them out to not be in the burden side. So my phone number is nine eight zero. 533-1233, and I can put my email in the chat box because it's really long. Thank you. All right, my apologies, uh, Miss Aime. Sorry. No uh, problem, right, I get well, it all the time. Got it. Uh, you should hear what they call me, but <laughs> so we'll move on to Mr. Billy. Sorry about that, I'm having technical difficulties here. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Billy Austin, and uh, I work for Van Popering Insurance Agency uh, in the South Charlotte area. Um, best way to reach me is via email, uh, billy at vpinsure.com, uh, or my office phone number, which is 704-543-1544. Um, our agency specializes in uh, group healthcare employee benefits. And we also uh, offer commercial insurance as well, such as uh, workers' compensation coverage uh, or general liability. Awesome. All right. Uh, so we'll move on to Miss Danielle. I don't see her on the screen here. Is Danielle still in the room? No? Okay, moving on. Mr. Efrain. You're, you're unmuted or muted, sorry. All right, now here we are. I thought I had done it. Uh, yeah, my name is Efren Villatoro. I'm representing the uh, Southeastern Carpenters Regional Council from uh, Charlotte area. So we have a um, training center for the craft on the, everything that cover the carpentry uh, from wood to uh, chill rocks, and and we have a section with the mill rights too, where they do the uh, equipment part, conveyors, motors, and all that kind of good stuff. So we are uh, working in the, in the Charlotte area and throughout the Carolinas within five states around us, which is uh, Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Um, Alabama. So we have uh, our, the companies that are working with us, if they have jobs around that area, so we'll uh, manpower uh, their work. So, and that's what we're doing here. And uh, we, ha we have a lot of um, apprentices that are taking the, these classes. So it's something uh, that is working here in Charlotte. So uh, we're going to keep it up on it. And the phone number uh, here is 980-3110, I mean, 310-5354. And I'll post it on the, on the chat also. So uh, I put a, a website there that we have here. Uh, you can look at the building and it's on buildingcarolinas.com. Uh, so check us out. And, don't hesitate to give it a call if you want to come for a tour. It'd be nice. 
Yeah, so you should, you guys should definitely go tour that facility. Uh, really <laughs> nice. So moving on to Ellie. Yes, hi everyone. I'm Ellie Fester. Um, I'm a business, business development specialist for Prospera. Um, and Prospera is a nonprofit organization that helps um, Hispanic businesses start, uh, maintain and grow. Um, and yep, we're here to help everyone. Um, I'll put, go ahead and put my contact information in the, in the chat box. So thanks everyone. Awesome, thank you. Uh, so we're gonna move on to the ever colorful Mr. Erlan with the colorful background there. Hello, hello, how are you doing today? Uh, so yeah, I, I just love having that background because everyone can find me whenever they're rolling through the, anyways, through the participants. So my name is Erlan Martinez. I work with a company called Performa Think Inc. Um, we supply and fulfill marketing ideas through uh, promotional products, apparel, print, and uh, any type of branded PPE products. And uh, yeah, looking forward to connect with, uh, with people here in this call. And um, I know that uh, Debbie has some new jackets. I don't know if she already gave it away to everyone in the, the Lion Chamber of Commerce, but hopefully you can show them at one point or the other. So thank you. Yeah, it was a perfect fit. Thank you. So we'll move on to Miss Indira. Hi, good morning, everyone. Indira Tinsley. I am a financial advisor with Morgan Stanley, and I help financially successful individuals, families, and business owners to be smart with their money, simplify their lives, and preserve the things that they treasure. My information is in the chat box, and I'd love to start a conversation with you. Thank you. Awesome. So we'll move on to Jimmy. Hi, good morning. My name is Jimmy Apollo. I'm a owner of uh, Gate LLC. I'm executive chef consultant, Italian and French cuisine. I'm here in North Carolina, just moving from New York. So for anything, my phone number are 347-475-8727. Nice chat with you guys. Thank you and welcome to Charlotte. Please everyone remember to uh, put all of your information in the chat box. Uh, so we'll move on to John. Hi, I'm John Rojas. I'm a finance manager and controller. And currently, I'm the treasurer for the Latin American Chamber, helping Greece to expand to new horizons. She's going to do it, believe me. If you have any questions, let me know. Man, a few words. All right, Julio. Yes, good morning to everybody. I'm uh, Julio Porvin. I'm with uh, Sharon View Federal Credit Union as a member engagement specialist. Uh, and we are really excited that we have uh, two new branches that we opened up in Hilton Head and Bluffton. And uh, we're getting ready to launch business services in second quarter of this year. So we're excited about that and be looking forward to working with all the small businesses in the Hispanic community. Awesome. Uh, so we'll go on to Marco. Tejada. Yeah. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Marco Tejada. I'm an advisor with, uh, with Principal. I focus on insurance, life, long-term care, and disability insurance, as well as investments. I'm a CFA, CFA charter holder, have been in the industry for the past 32 years. And I've just, as you can tell from my phone number, which is my contact information is in the chat box, 305 area code, recently moved from Miami. And so in Miami, the Latinos are the market. Here in Charlotte, the Latinos are a niche market. And so that is now my niche, Marco Tejada. All right, thank you, Mr. Marco. Uh, Mario? 
Hey everyone, uh, my name is Mario. Uh, my husband and I run a clothing company called Mud Earth. Uh, we focus on uh, sustainability and empowerment. Uh, and uh, my information is already in the chat box. I can even drop the link to um, the Instagram and the website so you guys can be able to take a look and see what we're all really about. All right, thank you. On to Mr. Rich Robles. Hello everyone, good to see you all. Yes, again, my name is Rich Robles, and I am the Senior Director of Diversity, Inclusion, and Equity at Novant Health. And I am also part of the Board of Directors with the Latin American Chamber of Commerce, Charlotte. We are so excited that, you know, we have revamped this, you know, these meetings that we have early in the morning. I do have my coffee. This feels so good to start my day with all of you. So, so glad to be here with you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, so moving on to someone who could probably teach me a little bit more Spanish, Miss Vivian. <laughs> there you go. All right. Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias. Um, que placer estar aquí con todo el mundo. It's very beautiful to be here. A gorgeous day. We finally have some sun. I work with Billy in the office. Uh, we focus on insurance. And um, I always like to give insurance with a little bit of a twist because we do everything and anything a company or just even an individual needs. Um, and besides group medical, we do also individual plans and we do as well worksite benefits. We focus on that. So I heard a lot of carpenters, a lot of people that are on the field, you know, just FYI, if you guys have your medical, dental, and vision. Always look at uh, accident insurance, cancer policies, hospitalization. Those are huge right now for us, especially with everything going on. So reach out to either Billy or I and uh, hoping to help you guys out. Awesome. Great to have you again. And now, uh, Ms. Maria. Hi, good morning, everyone. I am Maria Kaiser, and I am with Sharon View Credit Union. Actually, I am a Julio's um, partner in crime, Julio Foreman. Good morning, Julio. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm very happy to be here this morning, uh, getting to know you guys. And hopefully, um, I can, at one point, we can be together and we can, uh, you know, bound more. Uh, I am the branch manager for the Carmel location in uh, Pineville Matthews and in Carmel Road. And uh, I am there to serve you guys, the Hispanic, the Hispanic community, and uh, looking forward to this meeting. Perfect. Thank you for joining us this morning. And then uh, Mr. Yasan, did I pronounce that correctly? Yes, Yasan, close enough. <laughs> okay. Hi everybody, this is Yazan. Uh, I own the Fast Science location on Independence. Uh, I've been with the Champer. This is actually my second year uh, and it's been great. I'm not yet familiar or, or yet okay with the only virtual thing. I, I loved it when we kind of met together and have events, uh, but it's great to meeting you everybody. And I'm gonna post my contact information again in the chat box. And we got it. Thank you, sir. Hi. All right. All right. Uh, is there anyone that I missed? No, speak once. All right. All right. Moving on. Uh, so now I'd like to introduce everyone to Miss Julie Rodriguez. Uh, she's a program director of uh, Lat Latinx services uh, with Commonwealth Charlotte. Uh, and uh, I'll let her take it away. Hi, good morning, everybody. It's great to be here. Thank you to the chamber for, for allowing me to uh, join one of your meetings today, get to know you all, and also share a little bit about who we are um, at Commonwealth and some of the things that we're working on right now to help the community. So today we'll really just focus a little bit on who Commonwealth Charlotte is. We're a relatively new nonprofit organization. We've been around for about six years or so. Um, so I just want to introduce 
uh, all of the wonderful things that we do to all of you in case you're not familiar with us. But we'll also be basically focusing on one of our newest initiatives, which is Lending Circles. So Commonwealth Charlotte is a nonprofit organization that provides trauma-informed financial literacy education and access to non-predatory financial services. Uh, lack of access to financial products, um, it has really been one of the downfalls of our community and really hinders the ability for us to impact generational poverty and also increase um, the ability for our community to have wealth. And so Commonwealth Charlotte does this through uh, financial education and our workshops and chats. We also provide individual financial counseling as sometimes um, our workshops go into, into really educating the community about all of the financial realms. And then our individual counseling focuses on any particular person's individual history, story, and their financial plans. We also partner with many um, banks and financial systems to provide access to banking institutions and uh, also help our community become credible borrowers in a safe way, a way that will not encourage them or allow them to begin or expand the, the debt cycle. And so one of the, the data points that we usually share at this point is that you know check cashing places, which is one of the French uh, financial services that most people focus on and banking versus unbanked is um, has wasn't really around before the 1970s but some of the latest data that we have in the early to mid 2000s this particular industry took over 58 billion dollars in transactions so that is money from our community that really does not get invested to their best interests. So just sharing that point to kind of put it all into perspective. And I do want to encourage you all to think about the services that I'm introducing, not only for you and for your circles, but most of you have employees. So this is also an opportunity to extend that help to your partners and to your employees and to all of the people that make your businesses and your community successful. So to the, the star of the show today, which is Lending Circle. So Gris um, briefly introduced this at the beginning. Most of us in the Latino community have heard this as natilleras. I'm from Colombia, that's really what we call them. Um, piramides in some cases, cundinas in Central America, tandas as well in Central America, susus um, in African countries, bandeiros in Brazil, and chits and huis in the Asian community. So this is not a new thing. We, we did not, we're not going to take credit for inventing lending circles or social lending. Our communities have been doing this pretty much from the beginning. And one of the reasons why this is done is one, as I mentioned earlier, is lack of access to financial institutions or lack of trust or lack of, uh, of the ability or comfort in going in and finding out what some of the financial services are out there and choosing the best option for, for all of us. So let's jump to the next slide and talk a little bit about what Lending Circles is in case some of us are not familiar with it. So Lending Circle is a, a practice that is safe and trusted in most of our communities. And it's a convenient way for our communities to borrow money and lend money to each other. We have partnered, Commonwealth Charlotte has partnered with Mission Asset Fund to make this possible to our community here in Charlotte. And this is really a gateway to empower our community. It's also a credit building activity that will really change lives and encourage our community to build assets and to really dig deep um, into making sure that their financial dreams become a reality. How, is, how does this happen? Uh, lending circles usually in the not in the traditional way is that a community of members, either family members or in a particular neighborhood, would come together and decide to lend money to each other for a particular need. Usually it would be around the holidays to have enough spending money to buy our kids Christmas gifts, etc. So we've actually evolved this and made it, made it into a, a product to benefit our community members and the members that are taking, um, taking an opportunity in joining lending circles to help them build credit 
or have access to other types of funding immediately for, for their own particular financial goals and dreams. So as I briefly mentioned, this product helps build credit with a 0% interest. It also allows the, the members of Lending Circle or those who join to do so by contributing monthly amounts that make sense to them. Some of our Lending Circles can be as little as $50 or as high as $200. So we're really helping um, Lending Circle members get set up for success. We will not encourage someone to um, provide or contribute any particular amount of money without really understanding what their own financial uh, journey has been and what they're capable of doing at that particular moment, especially with the pandemic and most of our uh, members of our community being in the front lines and losing their income. We know they're in desperate situation to kind of rebuild what, they've, what they had become credible borrowers or having extra access to extra uh, cash for whatever uh, emergencies are going on. So we don't want this to be something that is done without them fully understanding the impact and being ready and feeling empowered to make this decision. Lending Circles also helps build community. Uh, it's kind of when you're working out, or maybe I'm just talking to myself here, but when you start, um, you know, New Year's resolutions and you say, I'm, I'm going to go to the gym, you need that partner, you need that person that will help and encourage you along the way, remind you of why you're doing this, um, and feel that sense of commitment. And this is what the Lending Circle does to our community members. Um, it really allows you to build that, that sense of network and that social capital, which is so needed. It's also safe and convenient. As I mentioned, it has zero interest rates. So there's, there's not a loss for, for our community members. It's convenient in the way that um, the payments will be done, set up with monthly transactions. That way our members don't have to think about, hey, I, I need to do my $50 payment today and be late or default on that payment. So it's an easy way for them to just establish that, become credible borrowers, have access to, to the community and not even have to think about it. And the most important part of all of this, at least to me, uh, is the financial education. Since I am the director of Latinx services and I, I am talking to the Latin American Chamber of Commerce, most of our community come in with trauma from the, their relationships with financial institutions back home or even here. And sometimes the information that they have is not the correct information. And so through the financial education that's provided with Lending Circles and with Commonwealth Charlotte, we wanna make sure that they have access to accurate information. What is it that a French um, financial benefit does and how it can affect them? And what is the options? How can they partner with Sharon View or some of the other financial institutions that are here to make sure that all of their hard earned money really works for them? Next, please. So I briefly mentioned this in, in my introduction of lending circles, but I will highlight, highlight it here once again. In order to start a lending circle, we would need a minimum of six people to a maximum of 12. The typical payments are $50 to $200 a month. And the way that it goes, if, if you had six, um, a six person lending circle is that each person, each member of that circle will be assigned a month where they would get their bulk of the money. If it's a six person circle, then the lending circle would last for six months. If it's 10, it would last for 10 months. And if it's 12 people, it would last for a year. And it will go around until every single person in that lending circle would have access to that money. It is 0% interest rate and it, the, the members receive full support from Commonwealth Charlotte. So if there is uh, at some point a crisis or a situation where a member feels that they cannot make that payment or they're being bombarded or overwhelmed, we can be there step by step to help them pro to provide that support as well as their other lending circle members. So it's this can be done in three easy steps. And like I said in the beginning, I encourage you to think about this service and all of our other products for you and also for your circles, your employees or your family members who this may resonate with. All you need to do to start a circle is apply. 
join or help us build a circle. So it could be with your family members, it could be with your particular organization. And the third step is to reap the benefits of this, which is to save and build credit or become a credible borrower, as we like to say. So I started my introduction of Commonwealth saying that we are trauma informed. What this really means is that we understand the situation that our clients and our community is going through. So for example, me being the director of Latinx services, we understand that some of the members in the Latino community have different types of documents, may be really nervous about opening up a bank account because they think that they cannot utilize their passport or their consulate ID. And so we do this and we make sure that we address these concerns with all of our products. And that is no different with lending circles. Um, it, you would need three different things in order to join a lending circle or to help us start one in your community. One is documents. We need to make sure that we know who you are. And so that photo ID, whether it is from, from a US government institution, like a license or a passport, or from your native country as your own native passport or your consular ID, or we will even work and accept the Latin American uh, coalition ID that gets provided right here in Charlotte. We also want to make sure that you have an account and direct deposit to it for two reasons. One, to make this easy, as I mentioned before, and two, because we want to make sure that most of the money that you're working for stays in your pocket and you're not spending it in fringe uh, services like check cashing places, et cetera. And age, you do have to be an adult. You have to be a minimum of 18 years or older. And this is it. Um, it's real simple. Uh, I usually end these presentations with, with saying, I know it sounds too good to be true, but it is. Uh, we are not doing this um, alone. We're doing this with Mission Asset Fund and I will share their information as well so that you can all uh, Google them and find out. They're doing magnificent work throughout the, the country in helping build access to different financial services in a creative and innovative way, such as lending circles. And um, if you do have any questions, concerns, or would like to start a circle today with your community, you can definitely reach out. Alicia Jeter will be the person responsible for any English speaking lending circles. And I, Julie Rodriguez, will be in charge of any Spanish speaking uh, lending circles that we start. And I know that there's a raised hand. I'm sorry about that. Um, I will answer any questions via email because I want to be respectful of the time um, and all of the wonderful things we have going on. Or you can definitely chat me or ask me anything during one of our breakout sessions. But thank you all for your time today. And again, thank you for the chamber for inviting me. Awesome. Thank you so much, Yuli, for being here and providing that great insight. I know I have heard of tandas, condinas <laughs> my whole life with my family. So to see it uh, working and helping build credit is really incredible. As Yuli said, she's going to put her information in the chat. And if you have any questions, please reach out to her uh, through her email. And also, she's going to be in our networking session. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask her there. I did want to make a note for everybody that is watching us on Facebook Live right now. This is where your live session ends. We're going to go into our networking session. So in the future, if you would like to participate in these breakout rooms and meet um, everybody here individually, make sure that you join in on the Zoom. Uh, we always post our registration links all over social media. So make sure you connect with us on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and whisk everyone away into your networking rooms. Please um, give me one second while I adjust and then you'll have 12 minutes there and I'll bring you back and give you updates so that I don't cut you off because I have been known to do that. So give me one moment. All right, I'll see you soon.